welcome to This Is The Day. With I've, me, Bo Chansey. I've been shushed, so I don't feel like I'm allowed to say my name. Well, well okay, hold on now. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. Okay, can I retract my shush? <laughs> I wish I didn't laugh at that, because that was a good, like, bit right there. But that was so funny. Yeah, I, you can retract it. Thank, I'll allow it. Thank you. As soon as you said that, <laughs> I've been shushed. I was just like, oh, no, I'm going to get canceled. Oh, I'm getting canceled today. We love oh, no, culture. I've been I've been canceled. We love canceled culture. Um, yeah, you I can wouldn't retract shush it. you. Well, you did, but you retracted it, so okay. I'll, I'll allow it. So I will tell you who I am now. Okay. Ariana Earnshaw. That's right. Welcome to This Is The Day. For sure. Yeah, glad Good you morning. all would, would join us. And you know what? If, 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 if you want to shush us, you could just turn it down. <laughs> Mute. <laughs> you, have, you have power to do that. Um, yeah. Um, if you want us louder, turn us up. Plug us into your, your aux system. Get some speakers, Bob. Get surround sound. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. It'll still only come from your two front speakers. <laughs> <laughs> you need more of this, though. <laughs> but the effect will be there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, love it if you'd share the show. Mm. It's a good thing. Mm. No, I don't. Here's the thing. I don't want, I don't want you Fred, to. I know. Yeah, you do. I know you're trying to do that reverse psychology thing, but yeah. I'm just going to say that. You know, not sharing the show is like shushing you. And there's That's a, true. And if, any, if you had a reaction like, oh, don't shush her, Bo. Come on. Yeah, come on. Then, then you share the show. She was okay? excited you, that this is the day. That's right. You step out and yeah. lead by example, okay? As a you're part right. of the, the This Is The Day fam. You know what? You're shushing her if you don't share the show. She'll share the show. All I wanted to do was wah, wah, wah about This Is The Day. If you don't share the show, you're shushing my boah, 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 because this show collectively is my boah, boah, boah. <laughs> <laughs> please share it. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, please share the show. Yeah. Don't shush me. Yeah. I'll be sad. Love it if you'd share the show, because um, we're going to share some encouragement, some love, uh, some laughter. It's going to be a good day. Yeah, it is. Because this is the day. This is. Yeah, and so we're stepping into that, and uh, you know what? It may not be the day you wanted or the day you would have drawn up. Probably not, really not the day you planned, but it's mm -mm. the day you got. Uh, so let's uh, let's enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Have a day. Yeah. Have a day. Have a day. Yep. All right, Ariana. We've been talking about uh, some to do ins mm -hmm. and uh, just you know, hey, what are you up to? And uh, we're we're asking people to to share some of those things, like just how you're enjoying life, like what's going on in your world. And so you can send uh, your to do ins to uh, this is the day at manchesterchristian.com. Just email them. This is the day manchesterchristian.com. Uh, pictures, videos, and uh, our our very own Kathy Sutherland. Sent us some to doings. Now, here's the thing. The other morning, she was uh, did not want to go outside, but was praying and having her Bible study time. And there was a book in her car. She really didn't want to go out there, but she just finally was like, "Okay, fine, I'll go." Mm -hmm. And she went out and she saw this over Bruce's barn. Let's see this picture. See that wow. rainbow? Wow! It's like splitting the sky. It's like two different colors. I know. That's insane. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, so sometimes, you know, you just get like a, like a prompting that says, hey, you know, go here, do this, make this phone call, send this text, yep. you know, look at this, or go over here, or peek out the window. And uh, my thing is, like, like, go for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, do it. When you feel that pull, yeah. you got to go well, I mean, for what, it. what's it going to cost you? It doesn't, you know, you never know what, uh, what you might get to experience. And so, Kathy, thank you for sending in that beautiful rainbow, which is as a, as a great reminder of God's love for us. And, yeah. And I'm sure that, you know, you kind of getting to see that was like, all right, yeah, there you go, you know, there you go. Okay, I right. see, I okay. see you, which is always fun. Oh, that's those, so fun. Those kind of moments. So uh, thank you, uh, Kathy, for sharing that with us. And um, if you've got some to-do-ins or anything, you know, you want to share, we want to see that. Yeah. Yeah, we want to share that on the show. Share it up. And then you can share the show. Absolutely. For sure. So speaking of sharing, mm -hmm. um, Ariana, what did you do last night? Last night... Ooh. I was here at the Bedford campus, okay. MCC, recording some worship mm -hmm. for service. Um, but I don't want to talk about that. Okay. Is there anything you do want to talk about? Um, I bought shampoo at a gas station. Okay. I can honestly say I don't think I've ever heard those words together in a sentence in that yep. order before. I didn't think I would ever have to perform the task. Why did you buy shampoo at a gas station? I was on my way home. 
this is, I'll tell the story very quickly. Okay. I put my hair up, half up, it was straight. Then I realized I didn't want it to be straight, so I curled it. But I only curled half my head. So then the top half was straight when I took it down, and the bottom half was curly, so I needed to wash my hair. But then I realized that I didn't, I, I knew that I had ran out of shampoo. And I didn't just want to wet it, I wanted to like wash it, because I wanted it to smell really good. Okay. So I was heading home, but everywhere was closed. Like, yeah. like Hannaford and all those places, and like, um, Walmart was a little too out of my way for having, heading home after like, I didn't want to like take any big detours. detours. Yeah, yeah. I just was like, no, I, I'm not doing that, I'm so tired. So I stopped, I had to stop and get gas, and I was feeling kind of bummed, like, oh, I can't like wash my hair, and like, I just really <laughs> wanted to for some reason. And I was like, you know what? They might have shampoo in the gas station. You'd think they actually probably would not. Like, I know they have that little thing where they're like, you, there's like Tums and Tylenol yeah, and like a little floss, travel size thing. But I was like, hey, I don't know if like shampoo is gonna be like in this dairy gas station, like whatever. But I went inside and they had a little travel size um, shampoo bottle for more money than a full size <laughs> shampoo bottle. And I did purchase it. What were you paying for convenience? I mean, what, it was what brand? approximately what this big. What'd you get? Pantene. Pantene. Okay. Smells great. Yeah, Pantene's good. Yeah, I was like, you know what? I will pay 260 for this little tiny, tiny, skinny bottle. Yeah. Um, so that's what I did last night. The only difference between you and me on this one? Yeah. I'd have bought two. You would have bought two of them? <laughs> there was only one left. Okay. All right. I'm not kidding. I got the last you got one. the last one. I, and been, the conditioner slot next to it completely empty. And I was like. It's been there since 1988. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's expired six years ago. And <laughs> that it? stuff doesn't even really expire. So it's kind of, I don't know. But um, yeah, my hair smells great. Okay. I'm going to take your word for it. I washed it. Well, it's good. So that. Is good. Yeah, the most amazing part of that that whole thing was I'm just like you you pass an actual real life gas station on your way home. I, I pass like one, two, three, four, five. How does that happen? Five gas stations. Up. Uh, I pass. I pass three directly and two Con within a located? one minute detour. I, yes. I I I've lived here now ten years, and everywhere the, all the places I go. Yeah. on a regular basis, and my house is very conveniently located, yep. like just great location. I pass exactly zero gas stations. Really? Everywhere. Well, do you take the highway anywhere? Yeah. There's no gas stations on the highway. You gotta exit, make a right, go down four miles, and then, mm. you know, cross yeah. into another state and... Where I get on the highway, there's two directly, and then there's, there's like two more, yeah. like on my drive through town. I have to make to a whole, like, here. it's like in my calendar. Like, it's a yeah. trip to go get gas. Manchester's tricky. I feel like this <laughs> area is tricky. I can never find it when I'm here, but I, I can always find it when I'm, like, around my home. Okay. I don't know. Well, that's, that was, a, I'm just a little bit jealous of that. Yeah. It was. Got to go to a gas station. Convenient. Yeah. Just broke yeah. right in there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good. That's why they, I think they, they, a lot of times they call those convenience stores. Oh. Yeah, convenience why? stores. Because I think because they're convenient. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, calling it a convenience store because it's convenient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it was for me. Um, well, congrats. Thank uh, you. On the hair washing. It was time. It was yeah, definitely I'm time. Speaking for the fam. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you for, for, for telling me in advance, guys. Thanks a lot. Oh, no. <laughs> I made the mistake of shushing you once. I'm not about to tell you you need to wash your hair. Eh, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> um, 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 what did you do last night? Put in a microwave, let's go! Woo! I'm so shocked right now because when that was coming out of your mouth, it wasn't, I don't want to talk about it, and it didn't, like, none of them were words. I was just like, oh, oh no, like, I don't know how to hear this <laughs> sentence, and now I've heard it. You put in a microwave! Put in a microwave! Wow! I, I got home yesterday evening, and on the porch was a microwave. <laughs> You're like, I guess it's time. It had been delivered. Uh, the sumptuous was cooking some dinner, and uh, we were all hanging out in the kitchen. So mm -hmm. I unboxed that bad boy and uh, spent like two hours trying to make it work with the uh, the old system because it had like a, I don't know, like okay, yeah. to make it fit in the space. And then there's like a thing you put over it, you know, to make it look like it belongs mm -hmm. there and like mm -hmm. comes with the house. And, yeah. 
Uh, none of that worked. Right. So I installed it all, mm -hmm. didn't work, tried it again, yep. didn't work, took it all out, and just threw the microwave in the spot. But we have a microwave. Got a microwave. Did yeah. you use it? Um, I, no, Any, I didn't. Did anybody in your house use uh, it? Summer set the clock, I noticed. Okay, that's using it, I guess. That's not really what I meant. <laughs> we, did, we did not uh, heat anything. Apparently, like this thing, I don't know, it does all kinds of things. Yeah. Like what else? Well, I, there may be like a time travel feature. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, get back to us on that? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe. Well, you may never see me again. Yeah. Uh, ooh. Maybe I'll see two of you. <laughs> ooh. That, that. Oh. Uh oh. That's. Space time <laughs> continuum. <laughs> it's breaking! <laughs> yeah. We've, well. we've, we've destroyed it. Um, yeah. So that was pretty fantastic. That's pretty amazing. I'm really happy for you and the, and the family. Yeah. Congratulations. I'm a little bummed. I was really, huh? I was trying to come up with something good for that, you know, that. Uh, no, you weren't. I was. Well, no, I was too. I was, I just didn't hear anything good yet, you know, for the, for the microwave cavity in the kitchen. I was like, maybe we can do something neat with that, something special. I gave you a pretty neat option. Yeah. I said you could make a bed for your dog. But now it's just for plain old microwave. Ah. I don't know. But then I got to ah. figure out, like, how to make it uh, look good, which I'm not good at. <laughs> <laughs> and summer was great. Uh, like right after, so we have you know the golden retriever Griswold, mm -hmm. and he just he wants to go places, and yeah. he's not. When uh, before when Liza was home before she went uh, to college this semester, she would just take Griswold somewhere every day, just about. So he's bummed. Like he's sitting around at home, like seriously, like, like what are we doing? Uh, I want somewhere to go. Yeah. And so uh, summer was like, well, we sh we could take Griswold to Lowe's because Lowe's is dog like dog hmm. friendly. I'm like. Why are we going to Lowe's? Like, I don't, are we just going to Lowe's to take Griswold on a <laughs> on a trip? <laughs> and I was just Yay. like, and uh, she goes, no, there's. I want to get some paint. And I'm like, uh oh, what do you want me to paint? And she says, uh, I want to paint that jacked up door you hung up. And I'm like, okay, time out, right there. <laughs> I've only hung one door, <laughs> okay, so we don't have to refer to it every time as the jacked up door. <laughs> Okay. You can just say the door that I hung up. <laughs> there is only the one. And she's like, yeah, but it's like, I'm like, look, I have a special set of skills. And they're very limited. And it does not involve anything like with manual dexterity <laughs> and like fixing things. I hung a door. She's like, yeah, but all you had to do was hang it. I'm like, it opens and it shuts. It's a functional door. But yeah, it so is. So what, what's wrong with the door? Well, the area was framed, and so you had to put it in. And, and I watched a YouTube video, but didn't understand any of it. And mm -hmm. so then I just like went to work like with a hammer and chisel, because mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. you got to get everything. And it not. And so anyway, she's she wants to paint it to maybe well, make it look better. Yeah, I get that. Uh, what color? I didn't ask. You but didn't you go to Lowe's and see it? No, we didn't go to Lowe's. That's that's a pipe dream. That's. That's, oh. that's like on the wish list. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Going to Lowe's. Going to Lowe's. Yep, that's number two. Ariana. It, right under Home Depot. We went without a microwave for three months. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, although you never know. I mean, yeah. I could come home and the door could be painted. So that's that's I mean, the fun part of my life is um, yeah. changing colors all around. It's you. an adventure. <laughs> it used to be every time um, I left town. Mm hmm. I would come home and the house was redone That's every funny. time. Like, I'm like, oh. Uh. Like, where's the couch? And I would look at her and I'd go, how did you move this stuff? Like, <laughs> did somebody come help you? She's like, no. No. I'm like, but you're so tiny. And when I'm here, you can't lift anything. <laughs> <laughs> all the, all the furniture's amazing. moved. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just. Beds in different rooms. You're like, decorate. what do you mean? <laughs> One time I, I remember it was like, we've been married like two or three years. And uh, we're in our in our dining room in our first house, and uh, we're sitting there and we're eating. And I'm looking at the wall and I go, "Is that a picture on the wall?" She goes, "Yeah." No, I didn't say picture. 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 Like, picture. And you mean picture? Picture. I was going to ask because I wasn't quite certain. You know, a picture. A picture. There's a picture. Yes. Hanging like on the center of the wall, right. and I'm like, "What's inside of it?" She goes a placemat. She had taken a, a cloth placemat, rolled it up, and it was inside this picture 
hanging on the wall inside of a picture frame. I'm like, how long has that been there? Inside of a picture she frame. Said, she said three months. I'm like, that's like, it's really cool. That's so sick. I've you never didn't forgot even it. You notice it. I did. No, because it just looked like it belonged. Like, you just walk in the room, you're like, oh, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, room. you know, yeah, people have that. A gift. Oh, she's she's I, an artist. So. I do not understand. Like I, I should never be allowed to decorate a room in my own house ever. I don't understand. Like my taste is just so sporadic. Like mm -hmm. I have, not like, it would be horrible. You would walk in and be so uncomfortable. I would be uncomfortable. I wouldn't even enjoy it. I just I don't have that. I yeah. don't know. My room is just like a bunch of different color palettes and just like stuff that I like. It's just like, Ariana. It doesn't look good. It's just like, nah. <laughs> and I'm not like happy with it. I'm just like, you know, it's just me. So mm -hmm. uh, I let it be. The, yeah. the woman hung a picture yeah, you know. on the wall in a picture frame. That's brilliant. And never commented on it. I'd be like, right, like just, I'd be like, did you see what I did? Look what I did today. <laughs> Look at that. It's incredible. Look that at looks, the wall. Did you see this? The wall. Right here. But do you get it? Because it's a picture. <laughs> it's a picture in, in a, a picture. picture. And the, okay. Oh, there I'm it not, is. I've never, I'll just put it this way. I've never done anything that cool. But it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Anyway, I don't want to talk okay. about any of that. All right. <laughs> what I do want to talk about is verse of the day. You version Bible right. app gives us the verse of the day and uh today's verse is from psalm 59 16. Nice. all right so uh by the way it's it, kind of cool it's a psalm of david mm -hmm. and it's uh david's writing from when uh king saul had sent people to watch his house because they were trying to kill him mm -hmm. so it, I, all my only thing on this was like i'm reading like kind of getting the context of it and going yeah you know every time i I think my life is like really terrible or, and I don't mean to like compare to other people or whatever, but like, and yeah, I read the Psalms and they really resonate with me. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I might get canceled because I shushed Ariana. <laughs> okay. The king had, had sent people yeah. to kill David. And this is, he's praying and talking to God because there's people who are trying to, to kill him. Can, before you read it, yeah. can, I, can I share something sure. that aligns with that? So last night when the, when the clock ticked over into today, I was awake and I, my Bible app like alerted me about something. And so I went on, I clicked in and I read this verse okay. and I was reading the context a little bit in the chapters and some of the chapters around it. And I didn't really think much of it. Like I was just reading and I was like, awesome. That's like, that's super cool. And I was just, I just read them. And then I went to bed and I didn't think anything of it. I was just like, great. And then this morning I woke up feeling like, man, <laughs> Like there's no reason really that I don't feel great and I'm, I just felt like kind of emotionally like just just different and like not great and I just wasn't feeling like excited and, and I just wasn't sure why and I was kind of like mopey and down and like mm, woe is me, poor me, blah, 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 blah. Nothing extreme but just like for no reason. And then I was thinking like it could be like that is the most intense, like imagine that just being a part of your life. like. The people want to kill you. Mm -hmm. They want to kill you. Yes. And they are actively making attempt. And they have like, <laughs> like they've been sent by the king. Yeah, like, and the king has decreed like You're death. You're you dead. must die. Yeah. I want you to die, and I'm gonna send people to come kill you. Okay, and like watch you. Well, and David had served this king. And right. like no I mean it's yeah, like, like knows the, him. It's like right. like there's a betrayal. Like the betrayal here there too. is absurd. Oh. And I actually thought of that, like on my drive in this morning, and I was like, Ariana, pull it together. Like you gotta pull it together. Like you can't don't have this attitude, especially not for no reason. But not at all. But like why do you feel so woe is me? The king didn't send people to the, to kill you, to watch you at your house so that so that you die. You're having a fine morning. Nothing's wrong. Pull it together. And I, then I pulled it together and I was like, God, okay, that's why you had me up early in this morning. I didn't know why I was like tired. I, I, it didn't make sense why I was awake. Like I, I didn't want to be awake, but that is why I was awake. And it translated today and I, I, pulled, I pulled it around. Well, God pulled it around for me. For sure. Yeah. So I was like, all right. Yeah. Okay. I, I was you. a mental train wreck this morning as well. 
Really? Yeah, reading and praying through this. So we'll, we'll get to, so we'll read the verse. Okay, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah we should do that. No, it's fine. <laughs> Psalm 59, 16 uh, says, but I will sing of your strength. In the morning, I will sing of your love for you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. Mm -hmm. I'll read it again. Mm -hmm. But I will sing of your strength. In the morning, I will sing of your love for you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. So it is interesting that, you know, you saw this yeah. at 12.01 yep. a.m. And uh, then you woke up, you know, and it's like, I will sing of your, in the morning, I will sing of your love. Mm -hmm. I, will, I, like, I like the first part, but I will sing of your strength. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Because you, you kind of, you got there as you were talking through it. You know, there was that part of me, I'm like, you didn't do it. You didn't do it, Ariana. Yeah. You know, I, but you did, I mean, you did. No, no, but. but it's like you, you and God got to do it together. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah, God yeah. invites us in. And we, we are with him in that. Yeah, he did it, and it's his strength that, right. you know, that he does all these good things. But we are a part of it, and I think it is cool yeah. to go, yeah, you know. Yeah, he brings us into that. It's his strength. It's awesome. Yeah. And I normally, with, with verses that say, I, I will admit, like, when it says, like, I will sing of your strength, uh -huh. I'm like, oh, I have to relate. I have to relate because I sing. Yeah. But you know what stood out to me about this? Yeah, tell It's our fortress. Fortress. I just like that visual of like a fortress and like, I, I almost picture like, not a, not quite a bunker, but for lack of a better word, like a bunker, like where you would go in your last, like your final hour of attempt. Like I don't have anywhere else to go. This is like final resort. Like, not that that's the only time we go to him, but when we are in that, like I can find no help nowhere else. Like he is our fortress. And th like, that's a strong word. That is strength in itself. Like fortress is a strong, powerful word in itself base yeah you ever ever play tag or yeah, something like that, that. I'm, on, I'm on i'm on base yeah that brings it together i'm on base yep <laughs> like i've been out running around frantic and you've been coming at but i'm, yep. I'm on base now you I'm can't base. tag me ha, 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 you can't tag ha, me ha, ha, ha. like you can't touch me <laughs> i'm on base and I, I think that's what i think of when i think about yeah. like this and and you know that that god is he's base i mean like when i'm in him like you, yeah you the, the threats are real, I'm not diminishing oh, yeah. those, but I'm on base, like, mm -hmm. you, you can't get me. So this morning, I, I was a mental train wreck, you yeah. know, so I'm looking at this going, I will sing of your love. In the morning, I'm like, oh, I really wanna, I want this, I wanna sing of your strength, I wanna rely on that, I want you to be my fortress. And, and I was like, but it was one of those mornings where uh, I actually journaled about, it. I was just writing, and I was like, okay, this is one of those mornings where it is like a barrage of negative thoughts, mm -hmm. like one after another. And like, so I was like, I had put on the armor, so I had the shield of faith and the helmet of salvation. And I was like, as I was writing, it was like, it feels like I'm just going ding, ding, yeah. ding, 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 you know? Yeah. Um, and it just, it was like, I, I actually wrote that it was like the, uh, the finale of a fireworks show. <laughs> That's what it felt like, but he's bass. And, you know, all those thoughts were getting, you know, captured and either thrown out or turned and twisted to where they were obedient to who God is. But, yeah, ugh, yeah times of trouble. And that, that was the other thing, too, is where the, I think for me, my trouble was definitely more internal than external. And so my heart was a turbulent mess. Like, and from a turbulent heart, if it, my heart's not at peace, there's going to be turbulent words, there's going to be turbulent actions mm -hmm. and I was just praying okay if my you know if my heart's not at peace then you know let's God calm quiet my words let me be quiet and calm my actions because mm -hmm. then I'll have yeah. yeah yeah first of the day that's worth sharing absolutely right there <sighs> I told you it's a bad week for the closet calendar all right it's you know okay. what maybe no, I have hope it's gonna be great today yep it's not. Okay. Um, uh. But hey, you know what? Closet calendar, you're having a week, and uh, we're here with you. And, yeah, uh, this morning I was. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do this. So uh, today, it's one of those random act of kindness things. Now, I've already, well, I know. I've already said, like, first of all, if you're planning it, it's really not random. <laughs> that's, just no, <laughs> that's just number one. I'm going to do a random act of kindness today. It's really not. Okay, you know, well, and it's going to be this. Seems a little planned out. Yeah, yeah it doesn't okay. feel all that random to me. Um, and I don't, I just, can we just be kind? Anyway, but if, Baseline kind. Again, if it helps, it helps us, I'm all for it. 
I, I always get there. Oh, yeah, I, ugh, I just have a reaction. I know, but... I just have a reaction, but yeah, kindness is great. Yeah. Except, okay, now check this out. Okay. Here is, this is where we've progressed as a people, or regressed. I don't know what, <laughs> this is just where we are. How about that? Here's the closet calendar suggestion for a random act of kindness. Okay. You have a judgment-free day. Wow. Don't try to make yourself feel better by putting someone else down. That's your act of kindness? <laughs> Having a judgment-free day? My act that's, of that's, okay, I'm gonna have a judgment-free day and that's me being kind to you. Me not putting you down <laughs> to boost myself up is my, my kindness to you. You're welcome universe, by the way, because I'm not gonna put you down today so that I feel like I'm on a pedestal. I, I won't today. Tomorrow, I'm definitely gonna boost myself up by putting you down. But today, I'm gonna do this very random act of kindness <laughs> called not being super mean for one day. Just no, for one, just for today. Maybe not for the whole day. Well, it is a judgment-free day, you're right. You're so wow. kind. Wow. You're so kind, Ariana. Yeah, you're welcome, Bo. I, you know what? I yeah. won't put you down today. <laughs> I, this is, it's a weird emotion, because I'm not sure, like, it, it's always weird with, it, when you tell someone you're proud of them. You know, because it, it feels like, why? Like, how is that? Like, why yeah. am I saying this? And sometimes it gets, it's like... Yeah, yeah, it's like a weird, like, could be like a weird, like, relational dynamic or whatever. But I just want you to know, I've never been more proud. That rant was <laughs> so good. Yeah. And I was very thankful for it. Like... <laughs> that was an excellent just, rant. If you just started with, okay, Bo, Bo, okay. That was ah. the only, I mean, the only notes I would yeah, give you, you're you right. know, on that. Um, I just got too passionate about it. Well, yeah, I don't think you saw it coming. I didn't see it yeah, coming. Yeah, you weren't prepared. I wasn't prepared. But that, that was a random rant. Random rant. Maybe not instead of the random act of kindness, let's do a random rant. That was random and it was a rant. Yeah. But that, that is not a random act of kindness. Yeah. Wow, that hurts a little. Yeah. That hurts a little. Yeah, I mean, so I feel like my random act of kindness today was you know, not ridiculing you for spending too much on shampoo. Or, yeah, you know, thank you uh, so much for not putting me down <laughs> yeah. unnecessarily. I give and I give. <laughs> what can I say? I give and I give. <sighs> yeah, that's horrible. Closet calendar, well, you know what? I was gonna say closet calendar, pull it together, but I feel bad for the closet calendar. Cause the closet calendar actually thinks that that's a random act of kind of, who hurt you, closet calendar? <laughs> who hurt you? Yes. Yes. Ah, buddy. We're, we're sorry. We're I would. Sorry. I would ask that. I'm not qualified to help. So, um, I'm yeah. not going to help. I just, <laughs> I'm just wondering. Um, recently, uh, Ace, my boy, the 15 year old version, um, he says, uh, he goes, Dad, why, why do we make fun of random people? I was like, oh, because he said we. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh. I was like. Uh, oh. uh, we're driving. I don't like, even know what happened. We don't. I think I just, Ugh. I think it was one of the, like, he saw something, like, and he made a, like, a joke, like, a comment. I don't remember. It was nothing. It was nothing. But it was, right. it, it was diminishing, like, somebody we didn't know, you know, or anything. Yeah. And, and it just went by. And then, like, a minute later, he goes, Dad, why do we, why do we make fun of random people? He's very self-aware, though. And uh, so I said, well, because we feel bad about ourselves. And he was like, yeah. I was like, all right, heard. Okay. That was, <laughs> heard. That was the extent yep. of that whole conversation. You're like, I'm moving But on. I didn't forget it. I was like, ooh, boy. Yeah, you're like, yeah, ooh, that hits hard. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for that, buddy. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, there's that. But then yeah. in the kitchen um, where there is a, a microwave. Uh-huh. Uh, no calendar on that. But there's. I was going to say, maybe move it to the microwave. The closet calendar? Yeah. No. Uh, no, the... I don't know. No. The, that, Not the closet calendar. There's a calendar on the fridge, and that's where it stays. Don't go changing. Okay. Yeah. It's, a, it's on right. the fridge, and it gives us a national day to celebrate. Okay. And as, it will be there in, until the end of 2020. Right. It, it should be. And it's, it should be. It's its place. Right. I don't know why I would say that. I'm not going to displace a calendar just because we got a new microwave. Oh, I'm so sorry. I mean, that's You're horrible. Right. You're right. You're right. I mean, <laughs> but I'd like you to stop putting me down to lift yourself up, please. I'm <laughs> okay. feeling very self-conscious. You should. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, on that uh, on that calendar gives us a national day to celebrate, mm -hmm. and um, today's an interesting one. It's sometimes it's national, sometimes it's world, but today is balloons around the world. Balloons around the world. Balloons around the world. Balloons around the world. Here they are. Yeah. And 
balloons. Balloons. Yeah. So. Around the world. We've got some balloons. You ever seen the movie Around the World in 80 days? No. Days? I don't know, some, some amount of days. I don't really watch very many movies. It's a balloon ride, though, Around the World. That's the whole movie? Well, I mean, I don't, I've never watched it, but I think it's the premise is they take a balloon around the world. Around the world. Okay. Do you that like balloons? Sense. Like what kind? Like just balloons like in general? Like these right here. Yes? I don't. Why? Ah! Oh! That's why. Ah! You made that happen. The balloon didn't do anything to you. But I did. I took control of the situation. No. Do you like that one? No! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no. We have to be nicer to the balloon. Why? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. I'm ruining the desk. What are you going to do? Balloons are on um, the world day. Yeah, balloons around the world day. Here's the thing. Um, that made a really satisfying snip sound, but I don't think you could hear it, so I'll tell you about it. It went snip, that's it, okay. So we've got some country facts. Like? <laughs> no, I know that country, I read it like that, our, but that's not what I meant. Help our corn grow. <laughs> <laughs> Get some fertilizer out there on the crop. I'm gonna need you no. to do the country facts. <laughs> With a country accent. No, I will not. You will. I will not. You will. I will not. Okay, you want me to? Okay, these are. Filled. Listen. I'll do. It. I'll do a country. All right. You do the country accent. I'll do a country I fact. I am going to inhale some helium. Okay. I would. Can you start so I can? Can you say? Can you start yeah, on these facts um, so I can get this going? All right. Going? So. Country facts. Country facts. From yeah. around the world. Papa Nugana is the most linguistically diverse country in the world with 851 <laughs> individual languages listed. Country fact. <laughs> wow. How, um, so accents aren't your thing, huh? <laughs> They're not your thing. <laughs> That was, that was good. Can you do it again? Uh-huh. Okay. Papa. <laughs> Stop it. You're no, I want to hear it again. Um, I have a closet counter page for you. I'm sorry, Bo. You're right. I got to keep that over on my side. I got to keep looking at it. I really want to hear it again. <laughs> Please say it again. Okay. You say another one. You say another one. We'll, we'll get there. I'm doing another one? No, yeah. Well, wait. Hold on. Let me, let me do it. Well, let me do one. All right. I'll do, I'll do one. Okay. You can do another one. Antarctica <laughs> is, is the largest. I <laughs> don't. <laughs> 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 That's like a, I, I went to the country of Scotland. It's the largest <laughs> <laughs> desert in the world. Wow. It's, okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm in the country. <laughs> Antarctica is the... <laughs> now, now, now I'm guarded. Antarctica is the largest <laughs> desert in the world. Did you know that? I did it till now. Oh my goodness. Wait, I'm gonna do one. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay, wait, just wait. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Um the the anim the official animal of Scotland is the unicorn. Your voice did not change it at all. It only changed a little <laughs> and I, I wanted it to change more. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only it's thing I wanted. Really affecting my voice the only thing I wanted for this whole bit was to make you actually scream. <laughs> but the scream was loud. All right. A third of the world's languages are spoken in Africa. That's pretty cool. There's one that we we, we both need to read, though. There's a really important fact. Are we going to read it together? We have to re No, I don't think let's we should. It's going to get really. OK, let's, let's read, read it together. together. I know what you're talking okay, about. OK, OK, OK. OK, ready? Yep. The, the longest, longest place name on, on the planet, planet is, is 85 letters long. Tama Taka Waka Chunga Tunga Kawa Chapa Kaka Munga Ora Tsanka Paka Waza Kwana Paka Wena Kuantau New Zealand. 
No, I think that's, I think that's right. I nailed I think. it. I think. No, you definitely know. I paused for a second because I wanted to hear how well you were nailing it. But yeah. No, I think, I think we pretty much got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, balloons around the world day. Um, I gotta drink some water. I, um, I, that's a lot of helium that's now circulating in my brain, mm -hmm. yeah. so. <laughs> I'd call you an, an airhead, but that's not accurate. It's a helium head. You're a helium head. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, if I start, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, no. Ah. Bye, Ariana. Ah. Yeah, I used to get scared of that as a kid. When people give me balloons. <laughs> they would always say they'd be because I was really, really so small. I was and I was like I was very like, for example, until high school, until I entered high school, I was four foot nine. And I they told me I had stopped growing. I didn't. <laughs> I am five foot two now. Okay. But <laughs> no, no, I no, but they were like, yeah, like we don't like I was small. And so growing up, like like I was significantly smaller than all my friends, like really, really short. Like they were like alarmed by it. Anyways, um, I used to get scared because every adult ever, ever, that ever handed me a balloon was like, be careful now, you might blow away <laughs> holding on to that balloon. You might just, you get whipped away into the air because all the helium and that, but you're so tiny. And I thought they, they were serious. Like, I was like, no, uh really? So I would like hold on to stuff when I passed it. Like if there was a railing, I would grab it and I would be like holding my balloon, like trying to pretend I'm having a good time. Thank you. Thanks for the balloon. I really like it. But I was scared. Yeah. Now I like them because I'm less scared. <laughs> I recommend not flying a kite. Never. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's. You can. Our... Ariana's carrying an anchor with her. What's that for? Oh, I'm gonna fly a kite I'm gonna later. fly a kite Don't later. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Just got my anchor. Got it like in the sand. <laughs> Dug into the sand and like holding it. Like, yeah, this is really fun, guys. Thanks for having me. All yeah. Right. Well. Okay, there's that. Yeah, that's Balloon, fun. Balloons around the world. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. All right, uh, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Yeah, okay, so on Monday we get some motivation. Sure do. Tuesday, some tea. And on Wednesday, it's it's Wednesday Wonder. It is. You got something wonderful for us? I do. Okay. I have something wonderful. Let's hear it. Okay. So, think for a moment about fruit, about your favorite fruit. Envision it in your mind, about your favorite fruit. Could you do me a favor, though? Yeah. Could you say fruit? Fruit. Thank you. Fruit. I just wanted to hear it. Okay. Because there's an I there. I feel like it's... Fruit. Fruit. I just feel like it's ignored. Okay, well, okay. I'm I'll sorry, keep that, that in mind. No, I'll keep it in mind, I'll keep it in mind. You proceed. I'm imagining in my mind through it. Okay, think in your mind about your favorite fruit. And now, picture that fruit, but dried. How do you feel? Because I feel wonderful. Here's mine. <laughs> um, these are some dried mangoes, and they are amazing and I was eating them yesterday thinking about how wonderful they are and then I said Eric I don't know what my Wednesday wonder is going to be and he said Ariana you just said and I quote these are so wonderful and I was like Eric you're right thank you for having my back I am going to talk about how wonderful dried fruit is because it's so amazing it's so amazing sorry that I yelled <laughs> but it's so amazing and I love it. Like, okay, any fruit you can have. Like, I'm not saying it's better necessarily. I'm just saying it's different in a wonderful way, okay? So before you're like, no, 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 no. Like, apples are better, like, crunchy apple. Like, that's fine. They can, they can be better, worse, the same. That's fine. But dried fruit is wonderful. And honestly, with the mangoes, I'm feeling like they're kind of like, if you're looking for like a sweet option, like fruit by the foot, kind of like artificially taste, you don't even need it anymore because you have dried mangoes that taste all, like if you close your eyes and imagine this being like an artificially sweetened, sugary, like toff, like, like, you know what I mean? Like taffy snack. It's the same thing. Smells great. Apples are amazing. They're, every fruit I can think of is amazing, except raisins. Raisins are a worse version of their fruit combo. Okay. But that's the only one I can Wait, think hold of. Hold on. Wait. That's the only one you think of that's a worse version? Or that, you just that don't people like eat like regularly. 
Well, I mean, I think they're, I think they can be good. You just said where they, it's just different. It doesn't have, you don't have to compare it. Well, I know, but no, no. You, I, no, no. you said no, that no, and then you, you went no, and broke the rule. No, I said you can compare it and you should. But why? <laughs> you don't, no, why you shouldn't. Why can't you just enjoy it? Uh, you like, can, though. Oh, here's some raisins. I'm no, going to enjoy like, some you know raisins. I mean? I'm not, here's some grapes. I'm going to enjoy some grapes. I'm not claiming that it's better. Why do I got to go, why do I have to have a competition here about my raisins and my grapes? You don't, but I will. But why? That's my point. Like, why? You're, you're sitting here celebrating dried fruit and then immediately discounting it. No, I still think it's I, wonderful. You know, it, I still think it's wonderful. It I just is wonderful. Don't you like want to know why raisins. it's wonderful? Because I'm sitting here wondering why in the world you're talking about it. Okay, then let's move <laughs> on. I'll sit here and enjoy my mangoes, and you can move on. Everybody's like, why is he being mean to her? Move on. He should stop. I'm over here eating my I'm mangoes. Stopping. I like dried fruit. I'm not opposed. Oh, okay. Yeah. I will say, like about raisins, you brought them up, and mm -hmm. that is like maybe the most common mm -hmm. dried fruit. Yeah. It's like. Do you want some raisins? No, I don't want any raisins. Mm -mm. Like, uh-uh. Mm -mm. Like, you, you, get, you get a box of red box of raisins in your Halloween like, candy? Ugh. What in the world? What is wrong with ugh. you? But every time I've ever been in a pinch and all there were were raisins, mm -hmm. and I ate them, mm -hmm. they were wonderful. I'm like, oh my goodness, I do like raisins. I wouldn't, I don't really enjoy them, as I've said, like on their own. But in things like cookies and cereal, uh, they're a good accent. Like, that's some of my favorite cookies. Cinnamon raisin. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something. Maybe you know this. Maybe okay. this is, like, common knowledge. I did okay. not. Um, Inslee, uh, Inns, Inslee Helen Chansey, my youngest, uh, she had to make cookies for one of her classes. Mm -hmm. And um, I think this was Summer's idea. It may have been Inslee's. I don't know. They're in cahoots with each other, those sure. two. And um, she made uh, oatmeal cookies. Mm -hmm. But instead of raisins, just raisins, she put in raisinettes, chocolate-covered raisins. This, mm. I knew, I knew I liked her that all was, this time. That was a solid cookie move right there. Yes, all this time I've been saying, I really like Inzi, and I, and, I, and I know why, because she's wonderful. Yeah. But, I, like, there's something really, really special. That's it. I'm not a big cookie eater, but I was like, oh, oh yeah, that's you dominated this one, Very kid. intelligent. Yeah. Chocolate covered raisins mm -hmm. in the oatmeal raisin mm -hmm. cookie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a solid move. I support that. I do too. And I empower that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite dried food? Yeah. Please, please tell me because I would like to try some more. Do you have a favorite? How do you feel about the banana chips? I do like banana chips very much and plantain chips. Heck yeah. Oh, they're so good. They're but I think for dried fruit, I'd say pineapple. Oh, I, that's too sweet for me. It is. That's why I hesitate to say it because, like, if I'm having one piece of dried fruit, it's pineapple. Yeah. But if I'm going to eat like a few, it's not, it's probably mango. I really the am into the good. mango. Oh, there, okay. It's really, really good. It's sweet, but it's not like too much. Yeah. Yeah, so what about you? Well, I don't play favorites. Interesting. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah. What well, I do want to talk about is uh, station worship. Yeah. These guys. These guys. These guys. Are this it. gang. This project is amazing. This crew. Yeah. This, uh, I don't even know what to call it. Project? Project. I, I would. But see, project makes it seem, sound like it's just like, it's just one thing. But it's many things. Collaborative. Right? Oh, okay. All right. This collaborative station worship, making uh, r great worship music and different people and being involved in creating new uh, music. Yep. So we have a. Uh, uh, a song that they've done, they've prepared for This Is The Day for us to enjoy yep. and um, called King's Kid, yep. which is interesting. I always want to call it Kid's King. Kid's King. I always reverse it in my mind. Really? But then part of that, I was thinking about that, like, why do I do that? And I was like, well, yeah, I mean, he's the kid's king. He is. I like that. So worship, but he's uh, King's Kid. So talking about who we are, who yep. we are uh, with him. And uh, this is a more acoustic version. Yep. It's a different version of the song, and uh, we get to hear it today. Yay. Let's check it out. In 
Me too. Yeah. Wowzers, what a, um, not only an incredible song, you know, uh, but the video was really cool too. Yes, Yeah. so well done. Yeah, very well done. Super awesome. Yeah, thank you for sharing that mm -hmm. with us and um, love, love that. Look forward to even more. I mean, no pressure. Nope, no pressure, but a little Maybe bit a little of pressure. Bit, a little, a little, little bit of pressure. pressure. I don't know why. We'd uh, like to see some more. Yeah, that is great stuff. Yes, that'll yeah. be a highlight for sure. Absolutely. All right, uh, we got a union leader here. Yeah, we do. There we go. Um, hot off the presses, Wednesday edition. Uh, apparently, like, there's some kind of, I don't know, something happened in politics. Sure. I don't know. I don't know. Um, give me that. That's not for you. We'll get there. <laughs> Small prayer? Small prayer. Oh, but Mark Hayward, he's, yeah. he's on the front page. He is. Oh, okay. Just wanted to confirm yeah. that he was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right where he belongs. Okay. Um, I think, I really think they should do more photos of Mark Hayward. Yeah, or maybe, like, just a big photo of Mark Hayward, and then just, like, someone writes an article about him, and then he fixes it. Okay, fine. Yeah. Small prayer? Please. Okay. Uh, front page news, bottom right corner, mm -hmm. union leader. Mm -hmm. The prayer is, yes, Lord, give us... Uh, give us our creative imagination and strength for a better future. Amen. Hmm. Yes, Lord, give us, I would probably probably give us your creative imagination and strength for a better future, but ours is fine too. Ours is his. Well, it says our. Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Let's be creative. We don't have to keep doing the same stuff over and over again. Mm -mm. Why would we want to do that? Nope. That's insanity. Yep. Keep doing the same stuff, you're going to have the same problem. Yep. Let's do something new. Absolutely. I like it. I like it. You want to chuckle? When will science figure out a way for us to skip the painful part uh, and go directly to being grandparents? <laughs> it made me chuckle. <laughs> it didn't make me chuckle. Well, I don't know. One day. Okay. All right. Uh, maybe. Uh, stuff going on. We got state and local. I don't know. There's that. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Newspaper stuff. Stuff in there. Uh, you know, speaking of cookies, yeah. it's uh, Wednesday's the flavors yeah. section. Oh, Wednesday's the flavor section. I'm like, why are there so many cookies? Yeah, yeah. No, every Wednesday they got so like cookies? recipes. I knew this, but I had forgotten. In here. Yeah, and, they do. And uh, some cookie recipes. <laughs> this one looked kind of good. The salted caramel dark chocolate chunk cookies. Oh, yeah. I'd be down on oh, those. Oh, yeah. Some coffee. That'd be good. Ooh. Heck, yeah. Yeah, cookie. Like, pastries and coffee is a thing that I never really knew about until, like, recently. Yeah, listen. Recently. That's a whole, there's a whole, I don't, I eat very little sugar. Yep. Very rare for me to do that. So if I'm doing it, I want to have an experience. Yeah, right. With it. So food up. This happened the because I do eat very little sugar. So like, uh, like the whole DoorDash thing, man, that's a game changer in my house. Because it'll be 10 o'clock at night and there will text will go out to the fam mm -hmm. <laughs> from summer. She's like, who wants a blizzard? <laughs> You're like. I'm like, yes. I do not. I, my response, I'm like, no, thank you. Yes. But everybody else is like, yeah, oh, I want yeah. a blizzard. Uh, sure, yeah. And, and so she texted back the other night. She's like, how about a dilly bar? And I was like, my response was, okay, now I'm conflicted. Now like, I don't, I don't even know. And she goes, and then the, the next reply was, I ordered you a dilly bar. <laughs> my man deserves a dilly bar. <laughs> I gotta tell you, like, it was the best dilly bar I have ever eaten. Cause I'm just like, that's right. I do. Some just that's got funny. her man a dilly bar. <laughs> that was, that's it was funny. pretty cool. I don't know, maybe happy. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the exciting times. That's why yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Right. Nobody's busy. Oh, but I do want to talk about this. This awesome article. Not an article. <laughs> oh, this is okay. It Family is circus. not an article. These kids, no. hey, and their wisdom and and I'm so glad we have this. Um, all right, I got this little boy and this little girl. They're they're staring out the window, and there's a snail on the window seal. And uh, she says, "I guess snails don't have any place to hurry to." <laughs> it's fantastic. What a great observation. Here's what I love. I love that these these kids that you know um, they're not you know in front of a TV. They don't have phones in their hands. There's no tablets. They're not playing video games. Not that I'm against all those things, but I mean, they're they're fine. They're looking at the window, out the window, and there's a snail. And I mean, this is just a perfect illustration for like this is the day. Like here's a snail on this windowsill, and it's not going anywhere fast. It's going slow, and they're just watching this snail. And she says, "I guess snails don't have to hurry any place to hurry." How patronizing to the snail. 
I don't think it's patronizing. Maybe the snail can't move any faster, and it's like really trying, and it's like going as fast as it can, and it's like, oh crap, I'm late. Oh, I gotta go. And he just can't move any faster. And she's like, guess you don't have anywhere important to be, huh, snail? And he's like, what do you mean? I'm going as fast as I can. I'm trying my hardest. And she, that, See, now, that feels wrong to me. Here's the deal. I feel like you're being insulting to the snail. No. By, no, you're pointing out that the snail is slow and you know, really needs to be someplace and probably is late now because it's a snail and it can't move well, fast. No, it and this little be. girl's like giving the snail credit. I, no. I, if I were the snail, I'd feel bad. Look, closet calendar speaking to you. Have a judgment free day. Don't try to make yourself feel better by putting someone else down. Snail, you're doing great. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're, you're trying your hardest, and I, I'm happy for you. All right. Um, this, this is not good, but uh, something I've, I'm not surprised by, uh, that song, Baby Shark. Uh-huh. No. Um, they were using it. It says to bully jail, jail inmates. They were playing it at loud noises. No. On repeat? No. Yeah, that no, it's terrible. That's not bullying. Uh, that's torture. Yeah, that can't be real. I mean, come on. I like, no, 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 I'm that's not, not like, I think the, I think there is a place to use the word bully. Uh -huh. I, I do. Yeah. The, the, I think it's over, in my opinion, just, I think yeah. it's probably overused, but okay. Let's, but there's definitely let's a place problem. for it, yeah. There's a place for sure. That's not bullying. No. That's called torture. Yeah. And it honestly is, and it's not okay. I, I mean, for real, I'm not making a lot of it. Yikes. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's the news, that's the, that's, ladies and gents. That's the news, right there. Okay, I'm gonna play a little trivial pursuit. I do. Okay, so uh, by the way, uh, I just point of clarification: Bill Mitchell is getting the first uh, Pop Rocks delivered to him. I plan on getting um, a card all right, so I can eat Pop Rocks before he gets his. Okay. So I'm hoping that okay. today will be the day. Okay. And Karen, maybe you'll you'll be in the in the mix yep, on that, or fine. anybody else. That's maybe fine. we get a newbie today. Um, six questions on a card. We want you to guess it. Uh, make a guess. I'm going to guess it all six, even yep. if it's ridiculous. Um, we have the original 1981 edition of the classic board game Trivial Pursuit. Also, the 40th anniversary edition, old and new, dealer's choice. Um, six questions. If you get all right, all six right, we're going to send you a congratulatory Pop Rocks from a funded box. Yep. Absolutely. That's amazing. Okay, and so, I can't wait. So Bill did get them all. I right gotta go. Actually, I gotta go. Okay, so I don't want to do it so bad. Old or new? I'm going old. Okay, old school. Ron Watazic, a watcher of the show, asked me to go old. Oh, okay. So we're going old in right, honor right. of I you, hope, uh, Ron. I hope this works, because I'm, I'm wanting some pop rocks before anybody else. All right, let's do it. Blue. Okay, blue, geography. What is the official language of Egypt, Tunisia, Tun Tun Tunisia. Tunisia, sorry, and Morocco? The official yeah. language. Sorry, I distracted you by no, not being okay. able to read. <laughs> of those three countries. Yeah. Wow, I have. I really don't know. Um, Egypt and Morocco. Um, I have no idea. So it looks like no pop rocks for me. I'm going. My guess though is Arabic. You're right. Is that right? I knew as soon as you said I had no idea that you were really going to get it right. Okay. Because that's what happens. Okay. Arabic. Pink. Okay. Pink entertainment. What actor has a tattoo on his right wrist reading Scotland Forever? Scotland. Oh, I'm going to say. Uh, <laughs> well, my guess is a uh, uh, Scottish actor, and I can't think of his name. Um, why am I drawing a blank here? Sean Connery is my answer. That's correct. Okay. Sean Connery. Yellow. Yellow. History. What country declared war on both Germany and the Allies in World War II? Oh, wow. Who declared war on Germany and the Allies yeah. in World War II? Mm -hmm. um, wow, they're just like, <laughs> we're taking you all down. <laughs> I don't know. Japan? Nope. Italy. Italy. It was Italy? Yeah. When did they turn on? I didn't realize they were anti. Okay. Brown. Yeah. All right. Uh, brown. Uh, art and literature. How many years before the mass did Richard H. Dana write about? What? How many years before the mass did Richard H. Dana write about? Before the mass? Mast. Mast. How many years before the mast? Did Richard H. Dana write about? Oh, that was definitely seven. Two. Okay. <laughs> Two. 
<laughs> definitely, definitely, though. Definitely seven. Did definitely never heard Yo, of any yeah. of that. So. No, I don't know what, I don't Kay. understand. Green? Green, uh, science and nature. Who was the first American to walk in space? First American to walk in space. Yep. To take a walk in space. Take a walk says, in space. Uh, don't know. I guess that would be different. Well. I, uh, Aldrin. I don't know. No. White. White? Edward H. White the second. Oh, Eddie White. Um, orange. Orange. Sports and leisure. How many pawns does each player have at the start of a chess game? Pawns. Mm -hmm. mm, don't know. Eight. Correct. Okay. All right. Eight. Well. Okay. We got like we, four. We've got, a, we've got some days Didn't left. Didn't get any pop rocks. Okay. All right. I'll put that in later. You know, the, yeah, the postal service may be running a little slow. Yeah, no, we're not going to, like, express ship it or anything crazy like <laughs> no, that. We're going to, like, ask I need them to, to be slow the, it down. I want to be the first. I don't need. I want to be the first. Want. Yeah. 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 Um, by the way, our Everyday with Jesus yeah. for today. Uh -huh. Just going to read it real quick. Yeah. It says, it's ludicrous to think that we have a God-given right to be spared from pain because we obey God. Suffering is a privilege for the godly. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's tough. Mm. Uh, Acts 14, 21. They preached the good news in that city and won a large number of disciples. They returned to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch, strengthening the disciples and encouraging them to remain true to the faith. We must go through many hardships to enter the kingdom of God, they said. Yeah, disciples were doing what God called them to and being obedient and a lot of pain. Yeah, yeah. smart. Yeah, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah that's why I will trouble. sing of his strength yeah. in the morning, yeah. in his love in the morning. This is the day. Have a day, and we'll catch you tomorrow.